What's up guys, it's Jay, Morning After Kill, and I'm making a video today because my voice is feeling a little bit better. I know it doesn't sound better, but it feels better, and that's the point of the uh, whole thing right here, is that as long as I'm feeling good, you guys will get a video. I do try to make daily videos for you guys because I just love making videos, I love the feedback, I love the energy that you guys get going in these uh, commentaries. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I don't think I'm going to stop doing it anytime soon. As long as I'm physically capable of doing it, you will get a commentary. Uh, almost daily so let's go and talk about what happened yesterday yesterday monolith released the DLC uh, the rodeo pirate pack for the ps3 uh, what they unintentionally did was also submit the other DLC that's supposed to come out after that for the ps3 and it got approved and it came out as well so ps3 users do have a jetpack and they also do have the uh, I forget what is it's called a Tesla gun or the witch doctor. Forget what the actual real word for it is. But that's pretty awesome that they did pick that up. I do not know if they're able to use the new weapons inside of the uh, actual gameplay. I do know that they do have it for the uh, for the challenge mode where you can go around and try to get gold medals in the challenges that they give you. That's uh, really cool, especially even if it's not out in uh, you know multiplayer lobbies. It gives people a chance to check it out. And it also gives us Xbox people a sneak peek of what we can look at because... Uh, from the video that was put up yesterday, I forget the dude's name, but he put up a really cool video showing them in uh, challenge mode. And the jetpack itself does look really slow. It doesn't look like it's going to really give you a tactical advantage, uh, especially since it's so loud. It's so slow. Somebody's going to find you when you're coming around with it, especially if you're like a sniper. But it does look like you can shoot while jetpacking around, so that might make it a, a little bit more balanced. We'll see exactly how that works out. The Witch Doctor, it kind of looks like a rocket launcher that moves slow, but it also has a mod on it called a Deflect, I think. So it looks like it might actually be able to deflect bullets if you aim it properly. Don't know about that yet. This is all speculation. If you do have the PS3 and you can play it in a multiplayer and you do have any type of video footage of it or any type of uh, information, Go ahead and leave it below as a video response. I will accept it so people can see it. Uh, that's That way, uh, you know, everybody on the Xbox that's wondering what we're going to get, uh, we can get, like, a sneak peek. And I know a lot of Xbox people were complaining because they're like, oh, you know, we're Xbox. We're used to getting things early. And uh, you know what? That's kind of messed up because PS3 usually never get anything exclusive early unless it was like Battlefield 3. But even then they had to like poke and prod Battlefield 3 to put the uh, 1943 edition in. I don't even know why that happened. But yeah, I think it's kind of cool that PS3 users finally get to uh, have something a little bit early, a little bit more unique that uh, Xbox doesn't have. And us Xbox people can look at the PS3 people's footage and be like, wow, I can't wait for this to come out. This looks awesome so uh yeah another uh, thing that was mentioned in the dlc was uh that xbox doesn't have is hard target was nerfed uh how hard it was nerfed we don't know yet but that is awesome because uh headshots in first person shooter games are a little bit uh they're sacred man headshots go way back everybody like the first thing you're supposed to do in a first person shooter is aim for the head and you're rewarded for headshots and the thing that i hated most about hard target wasn't that it like you know uh reduced any multipliers or negated any multipliers whatever you know shit happens i don't know exactly you know how they balance the perk out but what i was saying is is that the fact that even when you did get a headshot when somebody used hard target it didn't count as a headshot which makes these challenges really really hard because uh you know i i would have had gold already on my desperado if it wasn't for that i know i'm like 100 kills away from desperado gold but you know the headshots would have at least been done because everybody knows the desperado is a headshot monster and uh you know the recoil is vertical takes the bullet straight up to the head so it would have been done by now if Hard Target wasn't in there because, you know, there's really no other reason for anybody to want to not use Hard Target. Hard Target uh, negates headshots or, well, takes away headshot multiplier damage, which is huge. Like I said before in another video, uh, kind of bulletproof is like a 15% bullet damage uh, 
discount, but when you're negating 30 to 40 points of damage per bullet, that is a huge difference over top 15%. So I'm really glad that Monolith is listening to uh, the community, what we want. They actually did uh, do a few things in this time. I know a few uh, last time they were like, you know, they nerfed the uh, Deep Freezer by putting in Rummy, and then they nerfed uh, a couple other weapons that really didn't need to be nerfed. Like, uh, I think it was the Marshall that got nerfed, and uh, that, that's really odd that they would do that. Uh, Monolith has done a few things that, uh, you know, is a little questionable, but now they're on the ball. They're, uh, you know, they got their heads right where it should be, and it's awesome to see that they're listening to the community because I hate games that really, like, they say they listen to the community, but they don't. The only reason they ask the community anything is to make them feel like they're part of the process. I've been uh, around to see this from a lot of, uh, you know, communities, a lot of developers, and it's really just kind of shitty that they would do that. But I'm really glad that Monolith is, uh, you know, taking an active active uh, role in this community, especially if you look at their Twitter. If you look at their Twitter, they're always tweeting out YouTubers that are putting up videos of Gotham City Imposters, which is good because YouTube is a great tool to help build, like, a gaming community and even any type of community. So I'm just glad that, you know, Monolith is uh, taking the time to, you know, think about us little guys that are just playing the game, putting up gameplay for other people to enjoy, and they're like, you know what, we're going to help you guys get exposure on your videos, uh, help you guys get seen, help you guys get heard. Uh, that's exactly what supporting a community is all about. Uh, especially when this game didn't really make, like, a ton of money. I know it sold pretty decently for an arcade game, but when you're comparing it to, like, you know, multi-million dollar franchises and shit, where these companies, like... Activision and EA, they should have people that's around to, uh, you know, they have the money to listen to people on Twitter, to listen to the community, and they just don't do it. I guess they can't be bothered or, you know, they're too busy for it. I don't know exactly why uh, big game developers wouldn't put the time into, like, a grassroots campaign. Uh, if you look at other companies like Walmart, you'll realize that grassroots campaigns are huge in America. They're huge all over the world, actually. There's nothing better than people loving, uh, you know, a really good grassroots campaign, down to earth, just people talking to people, getting the feedback, finding exactly, you know, what's the best course of action to help satisfy our community. And uh, that's really awesome that these, uh, you know, game developers are starting to pick up on that and they're starting to, you know, get more involved because that's like every kid's dream is to sit here and be like, oh man, I wish I could tell the uh, game developers exactly what I think this game needs. And now you can with this day and age, with this technology. So it's pretty awesome. I'm digging it. And, uh, you know, I wish they had that as a kid. But my name's Jay, Morning After Kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I don't understand why people are still trying to motivate camp in the Bounty Hunter, but it doesn't work. And I'm going to see you guys later.